Um, what's up, YouTube? <laughs> Hello, my YouTube friends. So, you're probably used to this by now. If you've joined in this early ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> but we are just about to get started. We're just getting the streams all ready. So one moment, we'll, we'll be starting in about five seconds. Happy Thursday, everybody. Hey, hey. I'm glad you said it's Thursday. I don't know what day it is. I only know because um, I, um, whenever I talk to, to moms on my moms, whenever I talk to my mom, to my moms, um, all, all of my mothers, um, she's heading to the lake on Thursday, um, her, her oh, and dad. Yeah. So it's always a nice little little COVID check-in thing. That, that's a, It's like a – it just keeps me on track. It lets me stay – Oriented for the week. And they're heading to the lake. It's yeah, Thursday. That is a good way to stay oriented. That makes sense. This is going to be a little bit of a different show. I don't know if you can tell, but Jackie is sitting in a different spot. Yes. And it's funny, me looking at it on the screen, I, I feel like I have the, I feel like it looks like I'm in front of a green screen because of the painting because it's so big and colorful. <laughs> so it's a little, it, it, but I'm not in front of a green screen. That is an actual giant mural painting on a wall in our wall on canvas on a wall in our studio because we do we're doing some videos well that's the backdrop <laughs> yeah 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 so so she's actually sitting at a table that we're doing these workshops and if the sound is um if i need to boost the sound for us guys let us know because um we've been shooting different videos and everything and we think we got it in but we've been moving the mics and everything around in here so you know it's a little nutty yeah i might i may need to talk louder but I'm listening. I'm listening. Um, so, um, yeah, to, tonight, though, guys, um, I got a smoker, which if you've tuned in before in the last, like, two or three weeks, you know that I have a very healthy obsession with here lately. Healthy, yeah. Let's, yeah. <laughs> One of the fun things about this stream, though, is that we want to take a, an artistic look into different things. Yeah. You know, so we looked at wine one night, and um, to, um, <laughs> so I... I went a little nutty, and I smoked some coffee, which sounds like like you're rolling coffee up in papers or something. I am, I am to blame for this. I did see it on um, the Facebook forum. Like, there's a whole uh, Facebook group for people that are obsessed with their that's grills. That's right. That's right. And I, I was just it. wondering who, who to blame when I couldn't Yeah, remember. I'll take the blame on that one, because it, somebody on that group was like, hey, I tried this, and, you know, he had a whole method for it, and, I was, and we're both big coffee people, so... I was like, ooh, try yeah. It. So, and it was it was a really neat idea. But in in the recipe that you saw, you took green beans, you know, beans that haven't been roasted, they're raw, and then you roast them. But you can do it in your grill or smoker, and it kind of infuses that smoke in when, when you're roasting them. Um, we couldn't, we didn't, we don't have access to the raw beans right now. So, we took um, whole, just regular coffee beans and I, and I cold and I, I cold smoked them in, in there so um, so they were already roasted but um, but put them in a smoker where you know it doesn't get very hot and um, just let it sit in the smoke for a while and we've made double espresso shots oh yeah yeah so so we, so we can try that here in a second I also smoked cheese in the grill smoker which sounds crazy that like you know you know because the grill the smoker gets about 200 degrees you think well you put cheese in there is it gonna melt there's a little way to do it so we're gonna try that too we um, smoked some gouda and we smoked some aged cheddar mm -hmm. well we should we should try this uh, well let me say really fast Linda um, Emerton has joined us hey Linda hey Linda um, uh, so should we try this before it gets sure, cold? Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, um, it's, it's hard to just have it sit over here and, you know, not try it. So it's double espresso. It's strong. It is very strong. You know, um, it is really strong. I don't really taste too much of the smoky flavor. A little maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I uh, 
it, it, it it's so strong. It, yeah. I don't know if it's like because it's so strong, or if that's a bit of the the bitterness from the smoke. Uh, you know, it might it might be. That's one thing I wondered about. You know, with the with the espresso because um, you're roasting the beans and that's that's doing something to it. You know, it's changing the beans. Yeah. And then and then you go in after that and then you add in a you know a, a bunch of smoke on top of it. Um, you may just end up with a really strong cup of coffee. And I wonder too, because also this this is a espresso, so it's you know it's made under pressure, it's a high heat and pressure, and uh, or not high heat but heat and pressure. And um, so I wonder you know if it'd be a little less intense, if you might get more of the subtleties of the smoky smoky flavor, if it was a regular co- cup of coffee, you know? Yeah, I wonder about that too. Yeah. And I bet I bet if next time we try it, if we do the raw coffee bean, and then um, joking. <laughs> If we do the raw coffee bean, I bet the fact that it won't have already been roasted might affect it. Yeah, I bet you're right. That's what I'm guessing. But it's good. I mean, it's mine's, really mine's strong. Gone. So if you don't like strong coffee, <laughs> you're probably not you're know, probably not drinking espressos anyway. I was thirsty. Mine's gone. That was yummy. Dang. I'm telling it's not a you. Shot. Well, well, I guess it is. Two shots of espresso. But um, yeah, so we're gonna so. <laughs> So we had the espresso to give us a little pick me up. Um, I'm working on a brand new painting. I'm just working on the drawing, so it's very early days, and um, so I'm gonna be working on that. And so it's a it's a it's a painting of a palace, and a couple walking through like a pathway, and there's gonna be trees and hills. It's gonna be an extremely colorful painting. Right now it's black and white, but it's gonna be extremely colorful and it's going to be a lot of fun and uh, to, to work on um i won't get a ton done tonight because it's a big painting and and all but and we have other things planned as well in fact jackie's going to be painting um you know tonight <laughs> like, is all we about don't tune in for that we don't want to see that <laughs> <laughs> tonight is all Lucky about you. flavor and stuff so um Whenever, whenever I taste flavor, I see color, and sometimes I'll, I'll do a food painting. I do a lot of music paintings. Every once in a while, I'll do a food painting, um, and I'll try to put the colors that I see when I eat the food into the painting. And I did a Hershey bar painting, which the research for was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. I had to eat a lot of Hershey bars. That was delicious. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, so Jackie is doing the same thing today, and it's inspired by this really cool workshop that Jackie's put together. And, uh, and I, I kind of want to want to talk about that too a little bit because it's kind of it's uh, I think it's really neat. We're, we actually we put a video on it about it on our, on our Patreon channel. Um, we can share some things there that we can't share other places because you know um, with with the Patreon it's more it's more members only. So we can show behind the scenes stuff, which is actually going to be coming up quite a bit now. Like this weekend, we're starting on a massive project that we can't talk about. <laughs> But so so nice on the Patreon because I don't know it's it's hard to work on things and not not be able to share. I know we're we're having to mentally like uh, document everything because once it's unveiled this project, then we can kind of just you know put it out there. So you know trying to document everything and not you know and mm-hmm. fight the urge to like post it on social is really difficult. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is yeah, it is weird, isn't it? And we and, and it seems like the the last like few months has been a lot of those projects that we can't necessarily share. You know, I mean, you're working on the the animal ones, which are kind of like you don't want to share them all the way. I mean, it's just like, you know, half the projects right now are, you know, yeah, a little secretive. Yeah, yeah, which is which is awesome, but you know, good grief. Oh, and to orient anybody, um, where I'm sitting, if you're used to seeing me here on on these streams. Um, you know where I am. Jackie is usually this this direction. I know this like me pointing doesn't really mean anything, but she's usually <laughs> that direction. But just to give you oriented, like in the room and stuff, she's still in the room. Yeah. But she's over by the stage, and she is boop, 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 in right. that direction. Yes. So she's almost like almost like where the camera is. Yeah. So basically, for anybody out there that's watching, it our the back of our house is it, obviously it's everybody has a garage on their house usually. Ours is converted into a second den when we moved in. It was like, had a fireplace, all that bit. Um, and when we saw this house, we were like, that's our house. Because studio. John, yeah, John desperately <laughs> needed a big studio. You know, we do a lot of stuff here. So, um, 
this it's basically a giant converted garage into into a, a den that we've destroyed the carpet of <laughs> and everything else but um so yes i'm on one side of the wall over here and where i'm normally sitting is that way anyway it's i'm sure everybody's fascinated with the layout of our studio but <laughs> well you know i'm i'm a nerd i know but I, i'm always interested just to see what, what's going on you know well, tell me, tell me a little bit about the colors you're going to use in that painting, because you mentioned it was going to be super colorful, and you got a lot going on in that painting, so what, oh, yeah. what are the colors you're going to use? Um, I will use all the colors. Way to narrow it down. Thank you, thank you. Well, um, and here, let me, uh, I'm going to move this a, li a little bit, and then I can move it back later, and um, like I said, I'm not going to get a ton done t tonight, um, um. But up up here, let me see. So I draw this with a black paint that I can touch and feel. So I worked in roughly kind of where some, some foliage is going to be. So there's a couple that's towards the right-hand bottom side of the painting, and they're walking along this pathway. There's a fence over to the left of them, and it's like a metal, um, almost like a gate sort of thing. And um, So they're on this pathway. There's a street lamp. There, there's trees. Um, I'm going to have lots and lots of beautiful trees up here. And the, and the foliage is going to come down to just above the, the lady's head. And, um, yeah, so so this is where this is. And the, and the, the colors are, are – it's, it's going to be lots and lots of bright colors here. So all the colors really kind of but bright. Um, maybe not all the colors. But um, <laughs> some of this is going to be di dictated um, by, by, by what I do in other places. So it's going to be sort of a twilight scene. Mm -hmm. um, over to the left-hand side, beyond the, this fence, um, and how, how do you pronounce the palace's name? You think uh, I want to say Alhambra. Oh my gosh, I would don't have. I have. I know, I know, I'm, I'm terrible. But it's a particular palace, and and uh, I was using my software on my computer to try to get the detailed. Deets, <laughs> the, the, the detailed idea of, of what this is like, because the actual palace is is on 35 acres. It's like it's like one and a half million square feet. I used to I used to um, I bought 30 like 34 acres once, and the idea of a house taking up that entire amount of space to me blows my mind. It's just crazy. That's nuts. That is a little nuts. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so it's like what. Our, our Tuesday home. It's like, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's like, well, I yes, exactly. So, yeah, so it's huge. And um, so there's no way, if I went there, even if I could feel it all, you know. And so, so wonderful with the modern technology to have it where I can, it, it'll convert it into sound and into a sort of a tactile kind of feel. The sound's actually working really well with this one. Um, but, so to try to get it, because it's something that this this palace has been there since like 800, you know, AD. Like it's been there a while, you know. So people know what it looks like. So I, you know, I wanted to be able to get some of the architecture in there and make sure that, you know, it looked right. Um, and it's up in the mountains. And the, the trees around it, they actually brought these trees in um, for the. And I can't I can't think of what the tree was called now, but they brought them in just for this um, palace. And um, um, so it's all around that. So I'm gonna wanna have Isn't some it of like the trees. A dove pine? What did you call I, it? I can't remember. I honestly can't can't uh, remember. The name of it is just out of my head. I um, I'll remember it after the stream. I bet. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, so we have the. So I'm gonna put that, and then behind it, I wanna have some more mountains because it's up in the mountains in Spain. But um, but here's the thing though. Um, artistic license. <laughs> there you go. Uh, because it solves it all. Yeah, yeah, because. The palace is one part of the story here, but the other part is the wonderful couple that's in the in here, and they're experiencing this this place, this time. They're they're there, they're having a moment, and I put them here a little bit like they're holding hands, so so they're together. But I place them in this way though because they're both taking in like the environment. They're um, the the men the man's actually kind of looking up toward towards the castle, the castle, the castle, <laughs> the palace. <laughs> Castle of Castles, <laughs> and um, it's like you know, a gaggle of geese. Yeah, you know, so so they're both like you know, it's a beautiful, wonderful time that they're sharing together. But they they both have their own ideas, their own thoughts, you know. So they're, you know, so they're both having a, a moment to themselves, but also together that's shared, you know. And it's something that they'll they'll be able to talk about later, you know. Which I think it's kind of wonderful. Like when you spend a lot of time around somebody, sometimes you know you think you know like. 
well, what are what are we going to talk about? You we don't usually have that problem much. No. I mean because I'll ramble on. You're a talker. Yeah, <laughs> let's ramble on about the same yeah. old thing. I'll just say it ten yeah. times. But um, but it's nice though. Like so when you go and do a shared experience like that, you're both t- taking in your impressions. You know, you're you're you know they're they're seeing things, they're smelling things, they're hearing things, they're feeling things. You know, and it's something that that they'll they'll discuss later in this painting. You know, when they're when they're together. You know, yeah. But, um, so that's so that's why they're holding hands and why why they're both sort of walking like that. At least that's the idea. Um, it's going to be sort of a twilight, so there's going to be lots of um, yellows along the, the bottom of the palace is what I'm thinking. And then some really bright colors, but it's not going to be too crazy. Um, behind it, the colors are going to be in the mountains. The colors are going to be a little bit more subdued, maybe some light blues and purples. Up here, um, there's actually some flowers and things that um, I envision sort of where these dark marks are over here. I'm not really sure, um, to be honest. Um, this is trees in here. All of this can change, though. Also, there could be trees that magically grow up <laughs> later, you know. Um, so I don't know. I mean, this is, um, you know, whenever you work work on a canvas like this, there, there's a lot of moving parts here. It's like a 24 inches by 30. Um, one part of the composition will lead to the other, you know, and the colors will, will lead to the others because you want the colors to support each other. And, um, and whenever somebody looks at this painting... I want them to look at certain points. So it's like if you do a composition right, you know, or if you try to, um, you should be able to dictate where a person's eyes go, like what they actually see first, what they see second, what they see third. And I know that sounds crazy, but you can actually do that quite a bit of the time. So, you know, in this, I want to be able to like tell a story by what you look at. And sometimes you have to change the composition. Sometimes, sometimes you have to change the color. So I have an idea on the canvas, but um, it can change. Well, Elizabeth... Um, that was Axel long, wasn't was, it? I, I rambled. So, yeah, I'm a talker. He's a talker. <laughs> Go on, I breath, apologize, man. everybody. Take you guys are good friends to bear... To, 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 bear, to, bear, to bear me out? To bear... To bear, bear with whatever. you? Bear with me. Bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a long day. It's, it's, like, it's been... It doesn't say... It has every been. Every day has turned into a long day. Today's been a long day of uh, video taping. We, Did I have an we, interview today? No. That was yesterday. That was yesterday. Gosh. Well, Elizabeth Axel's joined us and waving hello. Oh, hi. Um, Thank you for yeah, joining so us. We did, we did, which is why it, the studio is a little nuts and why I'm over here is because we <laughs> literally were videotaping other videos for either Patreon or this little workshop thing we're doing. So jiggy. It's, uh, it's crazy. Oh, but it's going to be so cool. And um, um, maybe I won't be on this at all. I'm just getting excited. I want to eat cheese. Wait, and wait. I, yeah, yeah, but I, well, I have everything set up so that um, to paint, like I'm, I'm turning away from you, which feels really awkward. You can paint while I paint. Oh, no, that's true. That's true. You're going to be painting. That's true. We'll show um, all of us painting. Yeah, so I, I will paint a little bit, but um, but the workshop thing I think is really cool because we um, and I'm not meaning to toot our own horn or anything, but I just think that this type of workshop is really important, and it's a workshop that we've taken to museums in schools all over the country. It's earned three presidential awards. We've done it with tens of thousands of people, and it's like I mean, I don't mean to be tooting our own horn. I just I don't know. I enjoy doing that, I guess. So it sounds like, but it's a type of workshop that's really enjoyable, but it's also something that. People with disabilities and people without disabilities can equally do together and equally enjoy together. So I think, I mean, I, I get really excited about it, and I think it's important and all that. Jackie did something I think was really cool, and she was able to take that and condense it, consolidate consolidate it down into like a small travel like like bag that can actually be mailed to people. So we're doing um on this one workshop with. Texas Workforce, maybe, or mm-hmm. yes. yes, yes, I, I'm sorry, and I, I, I apologize with names, it's, but you guys know me, I'm always it, bad with names. It's a workshop called Mastering the Real World, and um, obviously it involves a lot of different things, but we're just one part of it, where it's um, using art, it, it, it's it's an art workshop, but I think it's geared towards um, careers in art, although we spend more time making art and experiencing art than really talking about careers in art. Hmm. But um, that's where you come <laughs> in because you have, you, you you know, you bring the career aspect of it and you'll talk and all that fun stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cause there's going to be a live element and yeah, yeah, all so, kinds of different things. But, yeah, yeah, so so 
and you know we're all virtual now so it we'll see how this this goes i think it'll be fun i think obviously it'll be interesting because you know they're very interactive workshops so we're going to be relying quite a bit on um people doing doing it while we're doing it and you know Telling yeah, us their it's gonna experiences, be it's kind of but, crazy. But it's so cool though because in, in the in the workshop, like the in the in the kit that Jackie put together, there's things for every sense. So these kids will get this. I mean, a lot of these kids are going to be in this first workshop or have visual impairments, and um, so they'll so they'll get the kit and there's like a um, um, whole whole exercise for taste. You know where we have these jelly yeah. beans and there's ways to be able to tell color from it, and then mm-hmm. we have the um, um, touch where um, where we do the raised line painting. So the way I paint, like we made raised line drawings for them, textured paint, everything. They're getting all of that, like everything they need. The brush, the um, the the wipe, even to wipe your hands, like everything's in there. And then um, the um, let's say flavor, the smell. There's different. There's like um, a whole a smell like with like cotton balls. I have smells on them, and um, there's for there's um, foam sheets. So People that are non-visual can draw and still feel the line. Yeah, yeah. So Amanda Blake actually from she used to be with the with the Dallas Museum of Art and she's over at the Kimball now. Um, incredible person, so 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 nice, so intelligent, so smart. But she um, started doing that when I when I worked with the Dallas Museum of Art quite a bit. She'd bring those those foam sheets and give them to children and different people, and so so they could sketch the paintings. But it le- le- leaves an indented mark so I can feel it, so that I could feel their their um their their things so I, cool. I, was, I thought it was so cool I thought it was smart of you to include that and um the other senses too oh hearing like we're gonna do music stuff and and but i don't know it's just it's just gonna be a lot yeah. of fun but i thought it was so cool that you were able to get it down into like a little pack um which is really nice because that's something that people have asked for for years and it's not something we're selling or anything like these, these are like workshops that you know um i guess like we do the workshops but yeah but um maybe one day we could actually Put something together like that. Yeah, I think that... Here, Echo just came know, in. Echo, my my like, old guide dog. I don't know if you can hear her on the mic, but... um so ridiculous. The other day, we were shooting videos for um, for another project, or I think. Yeah, it was a different project. <laughs> and Echo walks in, he can just... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You're like, oh my God. Dog. Who's the heavy breather? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I know, and then... And what? And our, it's chaos in here right now with the lights. So if she even attempts oh. to make her way towards you, we may all be rushing yeah. to grab things. So yeah, there's these big box lights, and she actually was dragging one behind her um, a little bit earlier, and I heard her do it. I knew when she was going over there. I thought, uh oh, chaos. So I was able to kind of get over there, and sure enough, no. the, the box light was tilted over on top of her. I got it before you hit her or anything, but I, know. I was if like, I, s- I was like, girl. <laughs> <laughs> if I see her make that. I'll I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out, but we should eat this cheese because I oh, it's right for it. me and I'm already kind of nibbling on it. All right, let me show you guys. Oh, actually, you can probably get a better view even. Oh yeah, I'll go. Well, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do the overhang view. So this is the cheese that John smoked. This is Gouda, and you can kind of tell there's like that little outside. And this is cheddar. So Ooh, yeah. So what what do you want to try first? Gouda. I'm gonna shove it all in my mouth. <laughs> oh, what's the one that's bo- Oh, here we go. Is that both of us? Oh, okay. I don't normally switch the thing, so. Yeah, and I, I have here it on my um, my keyboard. It's sort of like the the, num- the numpad is set up to kind of how, how that is. So I can hit the numpad with the same. It's the same pattern. Nice. Yeah. The Gouda is good. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> All right. Here's the deal with the Gouda. Um, I tried it before we put it in there. It was just... Um, it really didn't have a flavor. It was like bland. Yeah. You know, it was un anything good. To just the. Maybe that's why you normally buy it smoked because it's a bland cheese and, I mean, oh, yeah. it absorbs the smoke really well. It does, doesn't it? So, um, um, and, and the cheddar, I, I tried it and it's like an aged cheddar and it, it it had a really sharp, heavy flavor to begin with. You know, my issue with this cheddar, I like the flavor. There's there's that grittiness to it. Mmm. Like, I know that's normal, but it's almost like little bits of sand you know it's just a normal thing sometimes in cheese hmm. yeah um it's so maybe weird. a different cheddar you like better I, I, I like the it has a very strong flavor you can really taste the smoke it's really good um that kind of cheddar would be really good for a diet 
because it has such a strong flavor oh, now. Oh, you can eat less of it? Yeah, you just put yeah. a little bit in something, like in a salad, and it, a little bit would go a long ways. You're really good on a cracker with some other things because it just has a you know a little bit. And really, it's nice. Um, so we're just gonna do a live show where people watch us eat, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, let but, me say Sheila McComas has joined us and says hi. Oh, hi there. Thank you. Well, and, and the way and and the way that we smoke this though, so, um, I just wanted to give it a try to see what what the, it. You know, I'm trying to get into more of the artistic qualities of of, di of of different things so we talked about wine you know so cheese so i had the cheese one way if you prepare it you know in a different way how does it change does it make it better does it make it worse you know is it just different um but the way that we did this though is that we put an ice bath like a pan full of ice in the in the smoker grill and then we put another pan that had the cheese on it and the cheese was on um, um like um, kebab skewer thing so, yeah. so it'd be up off the pan a little bit um so that you can smoke it we smoked it for like an hour hour and a half and um and the smoke can get all around it but the ice keeps it all cool so it doesn't melt and <clears throat> and then you take it off you, you wrap it in parchment paper and then you put it in the fridge for two two to three days hmm. to let it breathe and 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 that and that really makes a difference because when you first pull it off it's smoky a little bit but not a lot but after a couple of days it it it, it really gets inside Nice. So I, I think that's, I don't know, that kind of stuff I think is just interesting. I mean, people used to make their own cheese. They used to, you know, can their own things and make yeah. make their own preserves. Yeah, it's, and, it's, yeah the, the, the grill has opened a whole new world. Yeah, it's, it's interesting <laughs> to, to, to get back and see what, what things are like. Well, Elizabeth says, um, you're making me hungry. So. Well. I know, it's really hard to sit here and, and wait for, come on, stream, start, start, start. <laughs> I know, the coffee was getting cold. Um, oh. One, okay, so I know, like, we on Monday we were all chatting, and um, we were talking about Hamilton. I'm going to turn um, around with it. And so, yeah, you, you should start painting. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, so uh, for everybody out there, we finally got to watch Hamilton on Disney+, Plus, and I made Cincinnati chili pizza, which... <laughs> I honestly have never made Cincinnati chili pizza. I had it growing up, and I'm not a chef. I'm not the few cook. people have. Yeah, well, <laughs> it was really good. Okay. I, I was I was the biggest fan of it. I think than anybody. Well, thank you, honey. Oh, the, I the mean, issue thank was you for is that it. I'm not the cook in the family. Like I'm not very good at it. I can cook normal things: spaghetti, frozen pizza. I'm I'm good at that. But anything that's a little bit like oh I gotta read the directions for a second. It, can throw me for a loop. So I got, um, <laughs> I got, uh, hey, just the, I, oh, I'm sorry. What do you need? Lemon yellow? Did I, did I, did I leave oh, that they, over there? Yes. Well, here's medium yellow. The, well, the ink one? No, it should be like a thing like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got it. Here, I'll hit it. I'm sorry. I didn't no. Know. Let me unattach myself. Oh, uh, are you there you go. Oh, you thank go. you, sweetheart. Anyway, so, um, lemon yellow. I bought the pizza crust that you just get in the you know biscuit area of the store, and um, just all you do for this recipe is you lay down the pizza crust like you do if you're making pizza, and um, bake that for eight or so minutes, and then you put on um, what Cincinnati chili is. If you if you're here in Texas, it's it's Skyline chili, and you just buy it in the jar, I mean in the in a can in the chili section of, of the store. And um, just pour that on like tomato sauce, and then you put cheddar cheese over it, and then sprinkle um, uh, onions over that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's basically Skyline or Cincinnati chili, um, just over pizza instead of spaghetti, basically, over a pizza crust. Problem is, is that I never cook, and so I don't, I, and I definitely have never really done these this pizza situation. So, I burned the bottom of the pizza on, I made three of them, because our son doesn't like onions, so I, and I was like, pizza each, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm so surprised, you're like, I'm making three. I'm making three pizzas. Well, <laughs> I'm like, I wow. thought maybe one of our friends was going to come over. And, but oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So, um. Hey, better, better too much than too little. Yeah, huh? I mean, and I, if I made it correctly, we would be eating it for days. That was the goal here. But, no. no I ate it the next day. Did you? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, one piece of was made pretty well. It wasn't burnt on the bottom, and um, the other two were pretty burned on the bottom. The one that Jack, the one without onions that Jack wanted was burned on the bottom, but he said that was okay because the 
guts of it didn't slide off. <laughs> I was like, this is not did not go as planned. But the highlight was we watched um, Hamilton, which was phenomenal. Uh, I mean, I don't know, babe, what did you think? Not gonna miss my shot. <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was really good. We're, I next live show we're gonna reenact. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will play the part of Lin Man while. Um, it was really good. I, I you know, um, whenever we talked talked about it on Monday, I had heard it was really good. By pe- people that like a lot of the same things that I like, and they and they really liked it. So I thought I would probably like it, but I didn't. I did, I couldn't understand how. Because I I like rap. Like I like some rap. Like I'm not you know I'm not a huge. Rapophile, as the BC Boys would say. Yeah. But uh, but um, but it's you know I, I don't dislike rap like a good one you know but I thought how in the world are you gonna do it in rap and, rap and not make it sound silly? And it was genius. Yeah. I mean it was I mean the choreography was amazing the oh, set design was amazing the singers oh my word wow I mean, the great voices ridiculous the guy who played Burr yeah I thought he was probably the most impressive. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you were saying that he was running around like crazy, dancing with all the dancers. Yeah, he, and yet had this perfect, you know. Right. Like, yes. Wow. Yeah, and and then the King George character was hilarious, and you know, oh, yeah. I mean, just which <laughs> you good. know, I really, he looked so familiar. It was driving me nuts. Uh-huh. And then I realized he actually now is an actor in um, a Netflix show called Mindhunter. Oh really? I never, yeah. I never, I never listened to that one. Oh, it's a good one. Well, I want to see. Does he sing? No, no, he's an FBI agent. He was like the first FBI agent that started. He interviewed all the serial killers. Oh, I know show. that. I've heard about that show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the guy. That's really. Yeah. Wow, and he doesn't sing. Not, not in that show. No. Wow, he should <laughs> sing. I know. He, he's yeah. I mean, the entire cast was like amazing. I'm a mind hunter. Ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous. that was man. So that was really good. Yeah. If you haven't seen Hamilton on Disney Plus yet. Although, I have to admit, it was a little singy in the middle. It was like, after a while, there were so many words. <laughs> well, it was like, I really, really liked it, but it, but I was missing, like, a you know, a lot. Because some of the raps were really, really good. Like, some of the songs were, you know, they were all really good. but Really fast, too. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I, I um, you know, it was like, you know, it was like, after a, after a bit, it was like, like, there there was a couple numbers that went together that was really fast. And it was like, woo! I need, I need like a little, like a middle break for just a second. But then it gives yeah. it, that, it gives that to you, and then it, it switches track, and it gets you right back into it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I mean, it, it, it seems like it knows it's doing that. It's hitting you with it. And it's, get, it's giving you a lot of information. Then it'll, it'll change track. Yeah. All. I don't so, know. Really cool. I mean, it was I, I, the next day I was like, I, you know, was listening to the soundtrack on Spotify. You know, I mean, I'm like, I'm all in. I'm all in. Yeah, yeah, I noticed like on a on the um like on the YouTube account, suddenly there was like a, a all these like the history thing was suddenly Hamilton, 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 Hamilton about all this. I was stuff. getting sucked in a little bit. I was well, and that you know you get sucked into like where's the cast now or what did this mean in the show or you know I mean just mm-hmm. like of course and then the algorithms are just like shoving it in your face. So gonna mi- anyway, gonna miss my shot. <laughs> <laughs> so um. Okay, I, I have an idea. Okay. I know we're, we're going to do this whole, like, Hershey painting situation. Yeah. And I clearly need to do uh, research on the flavor <laughs> of Hershey. You know, I never put the Hershey up on the um, – I'll, I'll, I'll have to get that. I, I didn't put it on here to show everybody mine. Oh. So I will, though, while, while, while you're working on yours. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll cut over to you. Whenever you have the other camera, I'll, 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 I'll throw it up on mine somewhere. Okay. Figure it out. Okay, well, so, so, do you want me, I'll, I'll explain. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so. And I'll eat cheese. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so part of this, this series that we, we're doing for um, uh, this group out in a whole other state um, is we're going through the senses to talk about how art informs them or how the senses inform art and vice, whatever. And so. Today we did, um, a, we filmed the uh, taste one, and uh, one of the things that is on it is John painted a, this is, gosh, he painted this probably in like 2009, maybe? It was a oh. long time ago. Maybe oh yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Um, he did a whole series where he uh, did the color interpretation of taste or music or stuff like that, so 
he painted a Hershey bar, which he'll throw up on the screen in a second. And um, he incorporated all the color, or the uh, colors that come to his mind when he tastes milk chocolate. Um, so I am going to paint my version of that painting, but in the in the colors that I imagine when I uh, taste chocolate. So I have to obviously eat a bunch of chocolate. Do you still have the chocolate, or did or did or did Jack relieve you of all that? No. Okay. No. I was like, Whoa, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I still have the chocolate. There is another bar in the fridge, though. What? It gets crazy. What? <laughs> so, um, okay. Well, here, um, sure. So I'm gonna eat a piece of chocolate, and then I'm gonna talk about what colors I see when I eat chocolate. You guys can watch me eat chocolate. Uh -huh. Well, here, let me let me put it over to you, and I'll I will try to find that file. Okay. Did I put it? Oh, you know what? Okay, this is so silly. I feel like those videos. I think we've talked about this where, where the girl just like films herself eating and people listen to it. Oh yeah, you should do it very close to the microphone. No, no. <laughs> okay. I'm eating chocolate now. <laughs> no, that, that that was me. I should say, because I don't have the, the I don't have the camera on me. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want people to think that suddenly like, you got a really deep voice. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jackie's chocolate voice. <laughs> this is my chocolate voice. So, it's been a show of eating like chocolate. And cheese, coffee, and wine. Although I'm almost out of wine, that's serious. All okay. right. <clears throat> All right, so Owen has joined us. He's waving hello. hello. Hey, Owen. All right, so when I taste chocolate, I, you know, normally you would maybe see, like, people associate the look of a chocolate bar. So you're automatically, your brain automatically goes um, browns, tans, whatever. If we were to remove that from the scenario and then just think of colors that, that come from, from the chocolate bar, this is what I imagine. Oh, nice. <laughs> so ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to go to, to the overhead screen. Okay. Cool, All right. Cool, cool. I am lost in my okay. ear here. So. All right. I'm moving the, the mic out of the way because it's over the shot. Hopefully. Everybody can still... Yeah, we're good. Okay. Cool, and I'm done. Either I did it, or I did not do it. <laughs> it's one of those, but I think I did it. <laughs> okay, so when I tasted the chocolate, I... Oh, my, I almost did the same thing we did on the video. What, what? Pour everything out of the oh. thing. Oh. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Hey, but you didn't. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so when I um, tasted the chocolate bar... I almost, I, I kind of saw, instead of browns or colors that you saw, I saw probably more blues and reds and greens. That's okay. what I imagine when I taste chocolate. Okay. So this, which I don't think John's got up yet. Well, I don't know if you're going to put it up now, but this picture right here is a black and white version of the Hershey bar uh, painting that John did. Oh, here, here. I think, I think if I switch scenes, I think, I think I might have. Is it okay. up there? Uh, no. Oh, well. You gonna throw it up there? I well, I thought I did. Yeah. <laughs> um, because I have it in the. Oh, you know what? Oh, right. let's go back to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Like clockwork, people. <laughs> here we go. Oh, you know what? Hold it. I got to do it now. There's a push live button. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Did so that this, do it? Yeah. I okay. am a genius. You, you are. <laughs> so this is a First painting try. that this is John's interpretation of what a Hershey bar tastes like. The colors that pop into his head. Do you want to talk about it a minute? Yeah. You know, with, with the synesthesia I have, um, it's, it's, it's the most strongest with music. Whenever I hear music, I see color and it's very bright and it's very vivid. And But with, with taste, I have a little bit of that. So when I taste different colors, I, I'm, I'm sorry, when I taste different flavors, I get different colors. It's not quite as many as it is with music, but with like something sweet, it's very yellow to me. It's always been yellow and I just see yellow and um, with milk, it's blue. Like, so if it's creamy, it's kind of blue. If it's bitter, it's green. So coffee for me is extremely green. Like that espresso that we had, it was like a deep forest green to me. Um, and with the smoke in it, it was even deeper forest green. <laughs> now I know coffee's brown, but it seems green to me. It just seems green. 
uh, milk. So if I had if I had milk to to it, and if I add um, sugar to it, like sugar is yellow, milk. Um, 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 what did I say? Milk, milk, milk is blue, so it makes a very ugly combination. So generally, I don't add both cream and, and sugar to my coffee. So if we do a, a cappuccino, I usually have an, um, an unsweetened one because it's just a really ugly color. Um, so for the Hershey bar, Hershey actually has very little chocolate in it, so there's not that much of a bitter taste. But it's very sweet, so there's a lot of yellow and there's a lot of milk, so there's a lot of blue. Nice. Ta -da. <laughs> Ta -da. Okay, so so um, let's go back to my overhead shot. Sure, sure, sure. Are you doing it? Am I doing it? What's going on? Um, one of those. I got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I've exceeded myself What's over here. I I'm lost now. <laughs> okay, so this is John. This is a black and white printout of John's painting. I mean, I reversed it. So um, anyway, so the white is black and blah blah blah. Uh. So I'm going to put my color. So like I was telling, I see the the chocolate a little differently. So um, I imagine it more like purples. Uh, and I, I'm not used to these paints. So I'm like I'm just going to just get a little crazy. And this this is actually this is a fun exercise. If you you know, if you're around kids um, or if you're not, I mean, like a lot of times artists and painters, they will um, get into a rut. And sometimes if you just engage one of your other senses, you, you can get rid of that block and get rid of that rut. You know, um, I hear from so many artists that, that say, I just don't know what to paint. I don't know how to approach it. I don't know this or that. If you can engage your other senses, it makes it so much easier. Um, I mean, you know, blocks are extremely uncommon if you can start engaging all of your senses. It just doesn't happen that much. You know, you had a, a good, well, you, you've done this and I've heard this from other artists. Like if a good way to get past an art block is to, is to force yourself to do a self portrait. Oh, I've heard that before. And I know like some, I know you've done a few self portraits that are pretty interesting. For me, I see it as a form of punishment. It's like the ancient flagellation, you know, where you've got to punish yourself. So I've got to focus on my ugly mug for a while and then it'll, um, it'll force me to paint better. No, um, no, no, but that's that is true. And also, if you get blocked, just put something on the canvas. Just make any kind of mark, any kind of mark, because as soon as you get that mark on there, you're you're creating, you're making something. It's not anything good, <laughs> but that's that's the whole point, though. Because as soon as you make it, you know it's not right, and you start to want to change it. You start you start to edit at that point. You start to think, well, that's not where I really want it. I'll start, you know, I want it over here, and then you, just, you and then. But before you know it, you're you're out of the block. Maybe you're not really heading in the direction you want to be, but the block is over, and that's really what 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 counts. I mean, you got to remember when it comes to painting, it is if you end up with a with a great painting that you're really happy with, that's great. But that that is actually icing on the cake. That's not the point of painting. Painting is a verb. It's the it's doing, it's being in the moment. It's brush stroke to brush stroke. Whenever you end up with something at the end of it that you're happy and you're proud with. That is awesome. That is so great, and it's a great feeling, but it's not necessarily the major point of it all. There you go. I am super jelly at how fast you can paint, by the way. <laughs> well, I'm not being paid to do it, <laughs> so there well, you go. Maybe you should. Maybe, maybe I, I um, should. Maybe I should be the brains behind the operation, and... Um, and um and you and you be the, the painter. Yeah, I don't you, think I don't think should, this is gonna work. You should build all the kits. As soon as I said the brains behind the operation, I knew I knew we were doomed. <laughs> <laughs> well, and this is like super loose. Like I mean, I I'm I'm just like, you know, and that's another thing. I'm just painting really fast, so so I'm not thinking too hard about it. I think people can get caught in their own, you know, up in their own thoughts about like, is this right or wrong or what do I really care about, and, you know, with this and that. And sometimes just doing it really quick can, you know, get you past that. I know, like, a really good exercise when I was in art school was the artist, the art teacher was said, um, you know, we had to do these 15-second sketches. So the figure would stand in front of you, and then you had to really quickly, um, like 15 seconds, you had to get the, the bulk of the figure down. And in 15 seconds, that's a possible so you don't worry yeah. too much about details but that was the best exercise to actually get proportions right 
at least in the general sense, because you weren't so caught up in the tiny bit of it, you know? It was it was a really it was probably one of my favorite exercises I learned from art school. That's really cool. Yeah. Okay, so this is pretty much done. So say, you know, I think there's a, um, a setting on that dream stream deck over there where it can have both of us, and then it'll pop that other camera up. But well, I don't can't I'm, remember. I'm pretty much done. Let's call it done. So this is my interpretation of chocolate. I'm gonna hold it up to the camera. Mm. So what colors did, little, did the, you use? Like for, for those of us of the visual impairment. Yeah. What what colors did you? Um, um I used uh, blues and reds, making it purple. Which I should say on our camera, it looks a little. At least on this monitor over here, it looks a little dark. But um, and then I used a little bit of green, which. I don't know. I, I just it, the green mixed with the red ca caused a little bit of a muted sort of yellowy green, which is weird. How'd you? Um, so do you not do you not like that effect, or or is it a happy accident, as Bob Ross would say? <laughs> I'm gonna call it a happy accident. So let me hold it up one last time. It's a little dark, but this is my interpretation interpretation of chocolate. So well, I'm brilliant. Gonna, I'm gonna I wonder, go back to us. Well, I wonder. Um, all right. If you hold it up to the other camera, if the if the if the light over there might might give a different perspective to it or not, I don't know. Well, I mean, you know, there you have it. You oh, should I sign should. it. I should. Um. So, oh, Vincent has joined us. He says, "Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Stay safe." Oh, thank you, Vincent. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. Um. Oh, you don't have the Star Trek glasses over there, do you? Um. I didn't bring them. That's oh, wrong, okay. though. Huh? That's wrong, though. Right. Right. Right, yeah. I was just wondering. If oh, you had oh, show. no, no, no. I don't. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna, I'll grab them for next live. live yeah, show. yeah, yeah. Um. Anyway, you should throw your your painting up there really fast. Oh. Um. If you can. I. Oh, you know what? It's right here. <laughs> I don't know which camera, but the camera's over there. That I don't know which button to push. I mean, your your Hershey one. Oh, doggone it. Okay. We're a mess tonight. Can you tell? Yeah. Can um, you tell? I think this is it. Did that do it? Yes. Aha. Okay, so just to reiterate, that's John's interpretation of chocolate. This was this, like a four foot by two foot painting. Yeah, it's a too. big painting, it's, and it's it was painting. resin covered. It was really pretty. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. All the paints in there are resin. It's actually colored resin that are swirling around together. So. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So um, that's John's interpretation of chocolate. Let me hold mine up again. That's mine. Notice the colors are like way different. You know, one of the fun things to do this with a, with a kid especially is that a lot of times kids just want to do um, – they're, they're worried about getting getting outside the box a little bit. Like they're worried about their art being um, being wrong or bad or, or you know, they're, they're judging it. I mean, a lot of times you know, if kids are at a certain age. So there's, there's none of that. There's like, ah, there's crazy and they're, you know, completely creative. But then you hit that age though and there's always like that age when kids start judging what they're doing a little yeah. bit. This is such a fun activity to do with with the kiddos, um, because everybody's is going to be a little bit different, you know, yeah. and and it's good that it's different. It's not bad. It's good because you're you know that's that person's feeling about it, you know. And some people love milk chocolate. Some people hate milk chocolate. Um, some people are crazy. Yeah. Some. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, some some people prefer dark chocolate. They like more of that bitter flavor and whatnot. So, and um, some people actually think that milk chocolate tastes a little like vomit. Ooh, because really? it has, I, th I think it's butric acid in it or something. Weird. Which is, um, but that's like in the same thing in a bunch of other foods. But um, yeah. Huh. So, well, I mean, you don't like cilantro. You think it tastes like soap? It does taste like soap. No, cilantro is the bomb. You know, <laughs> I try not to say too many dirty words, so I don't really feel like I need to eat soap that much. So, but <laughs> no, but but I know a lot of people love cilantro, and with you know, and we're in Texas, so. Um, you find that a lot in the cuisine, and that's, you know, and I, I love Mexican food. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Every day I can eat Mexican yeah. food. That's yes. one of my dreams. That's art my gallery, dreams. art bar, Mexican restaurant. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to live above it, and we're going to have a dumb waiter. Or it could be an intelligent waiter. I don't really care. <laughs> Just, no, no, but we're going to have a dumb waiter that will go from, from the, um, the where, where we live above it down to the Mexican restaurant. And I can say, enchiladas, please. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. just pull them up. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll get so big I won't be able to leave that apartment for my I know, they'll have to like build a crane and get you out the window. Yeah. yeah. But that's, yeah. But that's a problem for future John. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not worried about it. 
Uh, okay, so <clears throat> painting that you're working on. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about it since it's already, it's getting. Oh yeah, it's, it's getting. It is. It's getting. It's almost time to bid everybody adieu for the weekend. Um, so here's what I'm doing, guys. Um, um, here, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to. Uh, I've got. Let me, get, let me roll my palette out of the way here. Um, so. What, what I'm doing is I'm using some different colors to just block in the painting. So um, it's not going to be this color blue up here. This this is going to be some um, hills, and they're receding into the distance. Um, but I just wanted a little bit darker, so when I put other colors down, like here is actually going to be a lot of green. There's going to be some flowers because this this is actually pretty close to these people. So this is like cut, cutting in and around, like this, this area right here. This is going a little bit more into the background. Um, this right here um, is going to be blue with some greens in it, and then and then was, and this, this is actually going to be a pretty dark blue with some yellows and stuff up uh, on the actual palettes here. Um, over here, I'm just using some yellow to um, to block it in a little bit to give it a little bit more idea of where of where the, the foliage is going to be. Um, the yellow paint feels different than the than the canvas. And the black paint feels different than every other kind of paint. So it's just a way to block it in and start thinking about where light is going to go. And once I did this, I put yellow down here. I don't like it. Um, that's not really where the light needs to go like that. It needs to be yellow through here, I think. So I'm going to I'm gonna change that. Well, Vincent asked, is this, is this painting a commission? It is a commission. It sure is. Um, um, which is madness to do commissions on stream. Oh. Who uh, I don't but know. But you're mad. Yeah, but then again, you you're know. You're mad. <laughs> you all know me. <laughs> um, but it is it's a it, it is a commission and um, but you know it's the same thing with the commission. So um, if they're not happy with it. Yeah, I want I want the person to really connect with it. So um, so I have a story about about this this couple and it's a really cool story and I think it's really neat and that this place is incredible. So. In my mind, I've come up with this sort of like story that I'm trying to tell in the painting, you know, and maybe they don't like the story, <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe they, it's not their story. yeah, maybe, maybe they kind of like the painting, but they feel like, you know, I don't really connect with it. Then if, if that happens, that's perfectly fine. And then I keep the painting and then it goes up for sale. And yeah. um, actually that just happened. Well, well, that's not the reason, but the elephant painting, Yeah. Um, which, which some people asked about, but it was a commission. Um, and it's available now. It's a really large painting, but because of all the COVID and stuff going on, when the commission was made, you know, it was like, you know, so I don't know, you know, yeah, yeah, situations change yeah. and it's no problem at all. It's, you know, that's why, that's why I do commissions that way. Because if things, if, if a situation changes, like global pandemic, you know, who can see that yeah. coming? <laughs> you know, it's no problem. Zombie attack. <laughs> yeah. I don't want anybody to stress over purchasing the art and thinking that like oh my gosh i put down a down and i don't have to do that and yeah I, and that's I, I, it'd make more sense involved. if i waited a little bit you know so yeah. that's all it's all good and then but i get to keep the painting because i did it the way that i wanted to and i'm happy with it i like it and well and so does the person but it's just you know yeah but i don't know anyway blah, blah, blah. so so what's your next steps? Like, oh. and like and well, I'm curious. How long do you think it'll take you to do this? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the calendar um, keeper. Here we go. Yeah, it's actually going to take a little bit of time to do this one. Mm -hmm. And part of the reason is because this weekend we're going to be building, most of the weekend oh, is going to yeah. be taken up by building these giant, enormous, like 12 foot tall structures. So imagine this canvas, 12 feet tall. Yeah. And then a bunch of them. Yes. And, um, and really wide, you know. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to be doing that. And um, so it's actually going to take a little bit of time. Plus, there's a lot of different parts of this painting. There's the, the, there's the background, the, the mountains in the back, the palace itself, the foreground, the, the gates I want to get right, or the, the fence here, the all you know different parts. So it's going to – I'm not really sure. <laughs> so so I guess I, guess no I should have just said I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, That's Well, Vincent fair. said, looking up the elephant painting now, Kim thought it was great. Oh, so, well, right? thank you, Vincent, and thank thank you, Kim, too. I, I, I appreciate that. I I love to paint elephants. I, I don't know what it is about them. Um, they're, they're like, they're, they're stoic, stoic strength. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's funny because, like, you know, they're they're not like, I don't know, they're they're strong, they're amazing, they're incredible, or they're, they're powerful, but they don't, they don't have to flaunt it. 
I don't know. That's just yeah. they're in the animal kingdom. They're awesome and they're fun to paint the shapes of it, like their their heads, the ears, the tusks. And you paint them well. Oh, thank you. There you go. Well, that's nice. <laughs> well, Christy Harkins has joined us and says, "Hey guys, sorry I haven't <laughs> caught your lives lately. Hope you both are well." We'll forgive so. you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining us. Yeah, I, thanks. I, I want to say she's had some issues with her puppy, and, mm. so I'm sorry. I hope everything. I think his name is Dover. Oh well, I'm so sorry about your pup. Jeez. So I hope everything's okay. He's a little pug, a little puggy. That's oh cute. man, pugs um, are the best. I've never had a pug, but I've known lots and lots of pugs. Oh, yeah. Your family is like Pug Central and... Um, yes. Gosh. They're so expressive. I've painted a lot of pugs. They're so expressive. Yes. Well, um, so I have no idea what we're doing next live show. We're keeping it... We're, It's crazy every... Yeah, yeah. Every week. But maybe at some point I'd like to go over like the, the virtual workshop kit. Like, actually show people. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be, that would be fun. So. We'll play a game next time. We'll oh, do something yeah. fun. Um, this this time was just a little zany. We, you know, are in here doing stuff, and but we and we wanted to eat cheese and drink <laughs> we, smoke, we smoke coffee. We wanted to eat, so you guys had to watch. There you go. <laughs> well, but thank you guys so much for joining in and helping us stay sane during this COVID and um, stay... Residencing. Hold it, hold it. Shelter, shelter in place. Well, oh, Vincent said, um, when you have time, send me the info on the elephant painting. I don't see it on your website. Is it the painting with the baby elephant? Oh, it isn't. You know, and it's not on the website because it was a commission. So yeah, it was. You know, so we we don't even have it out there yet, and um, or anything. Um, and, but I'll, I'll 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 make sure and, and and get it up on the site, and then we can send them the info. Absolutely, sure. and um, thanks so much for asking about it, Vincent. I, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, the painting, the the one with the baby elephant, was the commission that you did for a family of four and they didn't want portraits. They wanted themselves in baby in, in like a family of elephants. An elephant form. Yeah. Really that's cool. such a cool idea. That's a, that, that was, that, 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 that was a lot of fun because each, each elephant had a different character to it. <laughs> yeah. Tried to. Well, Christy says, uh, yes, thank you. Dozer. He's holding up. He's not worse. So I'll take it. Um, he is my other child. Oh yeah. There, that's, that's difficult. That's difficult when the pups aren't doing well. As our giant, you know, lab breathes heavily and knocks all the lights down yeah. in the studio because she's so old. Well, best of luck with Dozer. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's ugh. that's well, a great name, though, isn't it? That is a good name. I'm seeing the same thing when I saw that. <clears throat> is it is it is it named Dozer from Matrix or is it or is it or is it Dozer from? I think it, because it? it's like a big dog and it's like a bulldog. Yeah, you know, because in the in the Matrix, the guy that ran everything was named Dozer. Remember, like in his brother, like either Dozer died oh, I don't or his know. brother died. to let us know. I don't know where that name came from. That's cool. I didn't think about that. Um, Vincent asked, did the cheese smoking work out well? It did. It did. Nice. You know, um, it made the, the we, we used a, like, so. like a really bland Gouda just to give it a fair um, um, try. And whoa, it made it taste really, really good. And um, and so easy to do. And then um, the aged cheddar, I like it a lot, but it made it, it was already had a strong flavor. And it gave it a really strong flavor. And but that texture of the cheese, you didn't seem to, to care for it. So it's like it's like it wasn't yeah. the smoking; it was just the. This is the texture. Yeah, it's more of a crumbly kind of um, it's got um, some cheddar grit, cheese. Grit to it. Yeah, a little, yeah, a little, and I I like it. I you know. I, I mean, I'll eat it. I'll put it on things. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong. We need it on a cracker. We need crackers. <laughs> we need crackers. Well, yeah, Christy says, um, <laughs> short for bulldozer. Ha ha. He's ten shades of crazy for a pug. Ha, Love ten it. shades of crazy. Crazy pugs, those are the best. Man, um, oh, and the smoked coffee, um, we're gonna try that again, but but um, because I did it with roasted beans that had already been roasted, but I tried to cold smoke it. Yeah. And we're gonna try it with with um, raw coffee beans. Raw coffee beans and just roast them from. We might have to buy an accessory for your grill. I don't know. <laughs> I wish. I don't know. I don't know if I. You gotta. You gotta be. I'd have to, to like, drill a hole in my grill. I don't. I don't know if I. You know. Yeah. I don't know though. I mean, like on these these forums, they get serious. These people outfit their girls hardcore and if you haven't you know taken some sort of contraption and drilled it into mm. something are you really a serious griller i, I don't, don't know. know what if i just get like chrome spinners for the wheels will that work <laughs> maybe <laughs> put it put it put it put a radio in with, with put some with led lights on the bottom <laughs> 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 that, that, that would be kind of nice, like if it, you know, so like whenever the bass hit, the smoke like went in and out the grill. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's too much. That's crazy. And blow a little smoke rings <laughs> across the yard. That's so gangster, I love it. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, well, okay. Oh, <laughs> Christy said, I'm intrigued by this coffee business. Yes. It, we'll, we'll, yes. We'll get it. Um, we'll, we'll do the raw ones. Yeah, yeah, because that's really the way that you were supposed to do it. We just thought we had coffee beans. Let's just give it a try and see what happens. Yeah. And, and then we know it makes really strong cup of coffee. I mean, it will, it will wake your neighbors up. It is really strong. <laughs> it's really strong. It's really strong. All right. Well, um, are we, is that a wrap? I guess it's a wrap guys. I, I you know, I, I appreciate y'all so much, uh, you know, helping us pass the time here and hanging out in the studio. And I hope everybody has an incredible, amazing, wonderful, creative weekend. Yes. Thank you for hanging out. Like subscribe, share all those fun things. We'll be back on Monday, and it'll be – maybe we won't eat in front of you the entire time. Maybe. I may have a sunburn. I'm going to be making those stretchers outside. Oh, yeah. So Hopefully John won't have heat issues. <laughs> maybe I'll have a haircut. Ooh, oh, new yeah. quaff. But we'll see you guys soon. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Yeah.